Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is Playdates and Travels. It's affiliated with my blog, but my YouTube content is a little bit more affiliated with Disney and my obsession with it. So I am doing this video in two parts because I have a lot of content to cover. I recently went to Disneyland and had a chance to go to Mickey's Halloween party. So I hope you enjoyed that footage that I had at the beginning of this video. And I wanted to do a big haul, a big Disney haul video because I've ordered a lot of merchandise lately from not only Disneyland, but from Disney World, as well as I had a trip last year to Tokyo Disneyland, so I have a couple items I wanna share from that. And then more recently, I've been purchasing Disney-related items from Disney Parks. I had no idea they sold Disney Parks items on Amazon, but I've been purchasing items from Amazon.com as well. So these are things that I saw in the parks, but I saw a little bit cheaper on Amazon, or maybe I just didn't have a chance to pick it up. But we do a lot of rides and eating around the parks, but we don't do a lot of shopping. I'm not a shopper, unless it's related to Disney. And my husband isn't either, so when I go in the parks with him, I don't spend more than maybe 15 minutes tops in the shops, so I did a lot of online shopping. And I have been going obsessed with Amazon Shop Disney Parks app and Shop Disney, which was formerly DisneyStore.com, they changed the name a couple weeks ago. So I ordered a lot, a lot, lot, lot of merchandise, and I wanted to just give a sneak peek of what came in my boxes, what merchandise I ordered, and share that with you. I'm filming in front of my Halloween display. I just had a chance to finally decorate, so I really wanted to share Halloween decor for the season. Um, but the first part of the video will focus on my Disney World slash Tokyo Disneyland slash Shop Disney slash Shop Disney Parks app. Please keep tuned for all this. It's gonna be a two-part video, and I'm so excited to show you what I got. Recently from the parks, I can live vicariously through YouTube because I can't normally talk about my Disney purchases at home or else I drive my husband crazy. Okay, so let's get into it. And just to show how many boxes came in the mail, this is my new loot. A mixture of Shop Disney, Shop Disney Parks, and of course, Amazon. I recently went to Disney World and I was there in July as well as uh, I went there for New Year's in uh, December. And while I was there in July, we bought this Frozen art piece. It's $24.99. It's from Magical Moments, and it's just depicting the scene where Elsa is singing her famous song, Let It Go. And my daughter is a huge Frozen and Elsa fan, so we thought, why not buy this beautiful little art piece and put it in her room? Um, we had not put it in her room yet, though, because we're actually reorganizing that, so... I still have it in the case, but we will put up soon. Also on our recent Disney World trip, I took a copy of the menu from Le Cellier, which is a Canadian restaurant. Um, if you have never been there, they have amazing steak. They're known for their filet mignon, which if you're going to the Food and Wine Festival right now, you can get a sample of that, a much smaller portion, but this is the actual menu that you have. I thought it was cool to just take this as a reminder of how amazing we thought the food was there and we really like the signature poutine. So if you've never had poutine before, try it with Cellier. It's one of our favorites. I have now been there twice and I think this is going to be part of every single Disney trip from here on out because my husband and I absolutely love it. Okay, so we also got this from Disney World. Um, it says Walt Disney World in the back. It's purple and you have Tinkerbell. What's not to love about Tinkerbell, purple, and Walt Disney World mugs? <laughs> so one item the parks have had forever is this little mold here. You can make pancakes out of this or eggs. You use this for eggs and pancakes to make Mickey-shaped uh, food. It's festive. Sometimes it sticks, so you have to spray it really well or butter it up, but um, I enjoy it. It's a fun little treat with your breakfast. So this is an item that I've had for about six months now. This is the Alice teacup set. You can see it is a salt and pepper shaker. It's got this plate. The two salt and pepper shakers sit on there. They're cute, they're nice, they're designed to look like the teacup ride. The problem with these is they're not very practical. The holes are kind of small. They're hard, kind of awkward to get the salt. Oops, they're kind of hard to get the salt. Uh, woo, do that. Over, um, out of it, but uh, you know, they're cute. They, they make a nice table setting, but otherwise I wouldn't recommend them. I think other salt and pepper shakers 
are actually better and we have gone back to the traditional kind unfortunately i have had this hat for a about a year now they only make them in youth size so they sell for $21.99 they're kind of expensive for what they are but they're really really cute and it doesn't fit me all the way it fits better my daughter because this is a youth hat but if you put it in the last tab you can get it to fit it's got the cute ears got the cute hat it's a fun thing to wear in the summer when you have the sun beaming down on you and it's just a really nice hat so well well done it's cute if you're a girl you kind of have to get it it's a classic look right now this is the uh castle mug the disney parks product and you can see the castle etched on the side with a cup it's really well made i have just ordered the haunted mansion one as well as the poison apple sculptured mug which are both on shopdisney.com so i'm really excited to get those don't have them yet, but they will add to my collection. And then just some other items that we have. We went to the Food and Wine Festival a couple years ago, got this cup. This commemorates the 2013 Food and Wine Festival. It's one of my favorite things to do. So this mug, this cup just reminds me of the park. And this was from getting a tall milkshake at Cars Land when it first opened. Also from the Food and Wine Festival, we have this from the 2015 Food and Wine Festival. Um, Oh, sorry, so 2013 Food and Wine Festival, and it says 2013 Food and Wine, this was the design that they had back then. I hang this in my kitchen, it's just a reminder of the Food and Wine Festival every time I go in there, and it's really pretty fun wall art. Because I have a baby, once again, a toddler, I got this toy when she was little. It is a pool toy. When you move and pull Pluto along the floor, it makes a barking noise. I actually took the batteries out to preserve it for the next baby, so I can't make the noise, but basically just goes arf, arf, da, 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 arf, arf. It's really, really cute. She loved it. And it's a really fun toy that sold in the Disney parks. I saw this one day on a whim in Disneyland and, and just had to get it. This is from the 2015 Epcot Food and Wine Festival, the last time we were there. This magnet cost $9.95. I still have the price tag in the back, but it just commemorated the 20th anniversary of the Food and Wine Festival, so we got this. And also to commemorate our recent trips, we actually ordered on the PhotoPass website for Disney World only. They don't do this for Disneyland, but for Walt Disney World, you can actually turn your PhotoPass photos that you have not purchased into a photo book. So that's what I did. I, it comes with this really nice interior page, and I just basically put together this entire book commemorating all my Disney trips. You can see here, this is when I went with my daughter was only eight months old and she was still a little, little baby. My sister eating a turkey leg. This was our first trip at La Cellier. There's a bunch of pictures, meeting the different characters. So it goes on and on and on until our recent New Year's trip, which is also included in here. We have my daughter's first haircut. They give you this little um, certificate. It says happy holidays. So definitely a goodbye. This book is made by Jostens, which is the same company that makes your books. And it's a great way to come write your trip. So we have that. Okay, so I'm going to transition to my Tokyo Disneyland trip. We went there last year and it was during their 15th anniversary. So it was the year of wishes. Got this gorgeous pillow. I'm so excited about this. I, you know, I love pillows. I'm a big pillow person. And when I saw that I had all the animated characters back here, Frozen, you have Tangled, you have Pinocchio, you have Nemo, you have a little bit of Pixar, a little bit of classic Disney. It's just a really, really nice pillow with different colors and it's really soft. So I was really happy to have this. And I'm a big fan of keeping the tags on. For a while, I don't know why I was crazy. This was 2,800 yen, so I think that's about $28. We also got this uh, little toy set. It's about $10 from Tokyo Disney Sea, one of the best parks ever. And I will take it out. It is a replica of their monorail system, and this is what it looks like. So I thought that was really cute both sides. 
So I had to get a copy of that. And again, this is around 1200 yen, which I think translates to around $10. Some more item from Japan. So we did buy a bunch of Tsum Tsum there. That was before this was introduced in the US. Now you can get Tsum Tsum everywhere. But while I was there, I thought it was really cool. It would be a fun treat to take home. And this is the Tsum Tsum Dumbo version. thought it was really cute. You can see the, uh, the description here is all in Japanese, not in English. <laughs> So cute and fuzzy. It's a nice plush. Dumbo Circus. This is another little trinket that we picked up from Tokyo Disney Sea. It says wishes come true on the back. And it is to commemorate the 15th anniversary once again. And it does light up. So pretty cute. We got that to commemorate our Disney Tokyo Sea. Tokyo Disney Sea trip. Last but not least for my Tokyo Disney trip, I saw this beautiful Ariel mug. You see Ariel right there. It's got the art of animation look once again. Both my best friend and I bought this because we both are big Ariel fans. You can see the seashell and the starfish embedded there. It's just a really beautiful mug. And inside it says, the year of wishes. So once again, is commemorating the 15 year anniversary. I thought this would be a really good keepsake to have and I've enjoyed using it many times to drink tea. And that's everything from Tokyo Disneyland. So another recent item I got was from the Disney Store Outlet. Now they don't always have the best selection sometimes of the items at the Disney Store Outlets are clearly made for the outlets, but this is a really cute cup. I recently had a Little Mermaid theme party for my daughter who was obsessed with Ariel and they had this cup at the Disney Park Outlet store which was only three dollars so three dollar cup with ariel on it it's got like a little water effect in it i thought why not just a couple of random items remaining i got this not too long ago this was retailing for around eight dollars it is sleeping beauty's castle it's a magnet got it from the disneyland resort see the bottom it says purple and uh it's just a replica of the castle itself so i put it on the refrigerator it's a fun magnet this is one of my favorite items. I'm a big baker, and one of my aunts found this. I'm not really sure where she got this, but it's a Korean cutting board. So you can put pastry dough on this, and it slides right off. It's really easy to clean. It's nice and fun and festive to use, so I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. That is my Korean cutting board, pastry board, whatever you want to call it. It is phenomenal. I love it. So because I have a three-year-old who's obsessed with Moana, we recently got this Moana doll um, from one of her, I think her aunts sent it, um, like great aunt sent it. And this is what Moana looks like. Her hair is ridiculous. It gets everywhere. But um, so we had this Moana doll and to go along with that, we found this from the Disney store. It's Pua, the pig, and Hey Hey. They come as a set together. They're really cute. And the cute thing about Pooh is that he makes noise. So if you squeeze him on his, uh, I always forget. If you squeeze him on his paw right here, he moves and makes a lot of noises from the movie. So my daughter gets a kick out of this. And then there's Hey Hey. Who doesn't love Hey Hey? Got this for a friend at the Disney Store website. It has Pooh on it really cute. It's a nice long sweater, so I think we'll get nice good use out of this. Alright, so what I recently bought from the Shop Disney Parks app was, it was six bowls. These are the nicest Disney bowls that I have seen in a really long time. It's got a very classic look. They're like stoneware and melamine, and you can see the Mickey Mouse shape in the middle, and very subtle effect on the sides embedded in the design are a bunch of Mickey heads. So it's really subtle, it's nice. This is a great cereal bowl. We use it all the time and I'm really happy with this purchase. So they're still sold on Disney Store, um, the Disney Store website, which is now Shop Disney. So if you go to shopdisney.com, you should be able to find these and I recommend them. I think the entire set of, 60, of six bowls was about $60. And as an honorable mention, this actually isn't from the parks. My husband's had this for a long while, but it has all the different characters on it, along with the gold rim. You can't microwave it, but it's a really cute mug.
We have this, which was not from the Disney parks, but it is a wooden sign, a wooden art piece of Mickey and Minnie. It was carved out of wood by a Filipino artist. I found this in New York and I've had it for a couple years now and I'm just really excited to try and look at this. So this hangs in my daughter's bedroom. And this is a Lennox Mini Stream Wedding. It's an older design. We had this for our wedding. This actually served as our cake topper. It's really beautiful and we keep this on our mantle. So I just wanted to show that off as well. The last item I want to show is this Walt Disney World sign. It is no longer made, but it is sold online on eBay. Old sellers have it and the sign actually lights up. It says Walt Disney World. It comes with a lot of different signs as well. It says Grand Floridian, Polynesian Hotel, etc, etc. I have this in storage along with our monorail set. It's a replica of the monorail at Disney World, which we take out at Christmas time and put around our Christmas trees. I just want to show that off because I love this sign. I wish they still made it. And last but not least, I went to the Disney Baby. There's only one retail location in the entire country. It's located in Glendale, California. So if you ever have a chance to go there, do so. At the Glendale Disney Baby store, I just bought these Aiden and Oz muslin baby blankets. They're really, really soft. They have Mickey Mouse on them, all different shapes. Really cute. I am expecting a boy, so I thought he should have his own blanket set since most of the Aiden and Oz blankets I have from my first child are pink and purple. Then I got this cute Lion King bodysuit when he's about six months old. And for when he's a newborn, this Dumbo star of the show bodysuit. Just thought they were really, really cute. And finally, last but not least, a couple new Tsum Tsum. So I have Janja from the Lion King, technically from the Lion King guard. Really cute. I have Dumbo with his little ears. And Flynn Rider from Tangled. So I wanted to boost up my collection because I just recently got a Tsum Tsum holder. I saw in another um, person's page, watched their video, I was really excited, googled it, found it on Etsy, it was about, I want to say $20 or so plus shipping, and it is amazing. So I'm going to have to buy some more Tsum Tsum so that I can fill it up. So slight change of location, I decided to film the rest of my video here in front of my Halloween backdrop, given that it is Halloween time. So I'm going to start with my Shop Disney, formerly aka DisneyStore.com purchases, and from there I'll go to Shop Disney Parks app. And then a couple of things I got from Amazon that are Disney related. For my three-year-old daughter, I got her a bow and arrow set. It's Tangled related from the TV show and it's uh, it's purple, so I thought it was really cute. A little bit cuter than the old Merida set they used to sell. In the back it says Tangled the series, so you can see. This would be a fun Christmas gift, just some early shopping while the item was on sale. I believe it was on sale for $14, down from its usual price of $25 or so. And this cute Christmas set that I got for my baby. He will be a December baby, so I thought, why not get him this baby's first Christmas set? It's really cute, and these are the items that come included. This is a little easier to show on camera, since this box is smaller and more manageable than the other one was. But you can see the interior of the box has the standard Disney wallpaper, Disney tissue paper, mind you, sorry, it's not a computer. So th this has a standard Disney tissue paper that you receive in the mail. I love receiving this tissue paper in the mail. It lets me know that I'm about to open an official Disney item. And I'm so excited, even though I ordered it in advance, so I should know what's in here, but actually it's been a couple of weeks, so I forget. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so I ordered a couple of different fun festive items. And I will start with the clothing. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful! Okay, so this showed up on the app. It is Epcot related, obviously, because it says Paris Epcot World Showcase 
It is a Mickey and Minnie Mickey and Minnie strolling in front of the Metropolitan um, in Paris, and it has hearts. It's a really, really comfortable looking sweater. It's made of cotton, and this looks like I'm going to get a lot of good use of this. Um, I did order it a little bit larger than I normally would because I am pregnant. By the time I start to wear this, um, it will I will still be a little bit big from having my baby. And unfortunately, I live in a type of climate where it doesn't get cold very often, but I do need sweaters, and I find oversized sweaters are more fun to have in general anyway, but this is really cute and I'm really looking forward to this. This is a nice quality item. So excited I ordered this. Another item I received in the mail are three Tsum Tsums. So I'm trying to build up my Tsum Tsum collection because I just recently bought a new Tsum Tsum holder. I put that in one of my last videos and it's really, really cool because you can put all your Tsum Tsums stacked on top and have a nice Mickey ears on your wall. It's from an Etsy shop called Creative Graphics Inc. I believe. I will put her description in the bottom. Um, just so you have it in case you're interested in buying a Tsum Tsum holder for yourself. But this is Cogsworth. This is from Beauty and the Beast. It was online. It's really, really cute. You can see the clockwork detail in it. And there's a little cog on top. And I thought this would be a fun item to have and add to my Tsum Tsum collection. And as Little Mermaid is one of my favorite movies and my daughter's as well, I got the Ursula. Tsum Tsum. This is so cute. I love the crown detail on her and I love that this has King Triton's uh, trident on the side when she steals it from King Triton at the end of the movie. This is a really, really cute Tsum Tsum and I'm really excited to have both movies represented. There's one more Tsum Tsum in my box and this is also Beating the Beast related. I did get this note. It says Walt Disney World on it. And it says, one second, make that clear. Special guest, thank you very much for shopping with us. We are pleased to bring you a spectacular selection of Walt Disney World Resort merchandise that we hope you will enjoy. Whether you purchase with us in one of our Walt Disney Resort shops or through the Shop Disney Parks mobile application, we are delighted to offer you thousands of products to choose from. Check back often for new arrivals in the Shop Disney Parks app. We'll be adding exciting offerings each week. All our best Disney theme park merchandise. And it has the authentic Disney Parks logo on the bottom. This is cute. I've actually ordered from the app before and I never got a note from Walt Disney World. So this is a nice personal touch. <laughs> I'm really excited to get a note. So I have a couple more items. And the big purchase item that I got in this box was this Duty and Burke bag. I've never owned a Duty and Burke bag before, but I saw this and I thought I kind of had to get it because this is just beautiful. This is a new bag for the Epcot Food Wine Festival. And I love the fact that Figment has made his way onto the design this year. I mean, it's such a nice, cute and innovative design. It looks expensive. And honestly, I, this is an early Christmas present to myself. I would never purchase this bag otherwise. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's purple inside. I mean, this retails right now for about $178, I believe, which is really expensive. Most Duty and Burke bags go from between $98 to upwards of $300, which is why I've never owned one before. But I couldn't go to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival this year. And as a compromise, I asked my husband like 70,000 times, if he would consider buying this for me for an early Christmas present and just give it to me at Christmas time. And so this is a way to commemorate the fact that I can't go to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival this year, but I can take it with me every day. And this is such, such, such a cute bag. It kind of reminds me a little bit like a Louis Vuitton style, just, just the craftsmanship of it. It's really well made and I am going to get some good use out of this. So I'm really, really excited about it. And that was everything that came in my shop Disney Parks app purchase. Of course, the big item that I've been so excited for was this bag. Really, really excited to own the Dooney and Burke bag. Gosh, it's gorgeous. And now on to some Disney related items that I purchased from Amazon. So this is something that I ordered from Amazon recently for myself. And I saw it online in someone else's video and I just got really excited about it because it's kind of a patriotic design but it looks so cute and has Mickey Mouse in a heart shape and I did not find this in the parks. You actually have to be 
in the Starbucks locations within Disney parks to purchase Starbucks official merchandise from Disney parks. I was in downtown Disney and I did not have a pass to Disneyland that day. And I could not get this from California Adventure because I didn't have a ticket and it was not sold in the downtown Disney location. So rather than go through hoops on eBay and whatnot, I actually saw this on Amazon. It only sold for about $7 more than the actual retail price in the parks. Rather than use my gas and drive all the way over there, which is a long trip for me, especially when you're pregnant, I decided just to order from Amazon and I now have this mug. So it says ready to ship. On the back it says Disney Parks. I will open it up. It says Starbucks on the box and do do do. -do. Is my very own brand new Starbucks Disney mug. You can see in the bottom it says Disney Parks. It's a Disney Parks item that you can only usually get in to Disney Parks, but no, that's not the case. You can also get it on Amazon. So thank you so much for putting this online. I'm so excited to have a Starbucks Disneyland slash Disney World slash Disney Parks Americana Cup and this will add to my other mug collection. Whoa. And my last purchase was kind of an expensive one. I saw this in Disneyland on my way leaving the park, but I did not buy it. And it was actually selling for about $25 more in the park. So when I saw this on Amazon for only $25 less, I had to go for it. Okay, so I finally opened this, and this piece of magic says Certificate of Authenticity. It's hereby certified a genuine Thomas Kincaid product. That's right, I bought a Thomas Kincaid piece of art, and it's of Cinderella's castle. I mean, you can't get more Disney than that. I have been wanting a Magic Kingdom reminder, Cinderella's castle on my wall for a pretty long time now. I saw this in the parks and I thought it was beautiful. Um, it was retailing for about $100 or so at Disneyland when I was there, but I did not buy it at Disneyland. And I saw this online for only $75. They actually have some for $65 I saw in the parks and I kind of had to get it. So this is going to go on our wall. I'm really excited to own a Thomas Kincaid product and a replica of the Disney castle. So Disney World will be at home every day. So those are my big ticket items. That was everything I got from Shop Disney Parks app, the Shop Disney website, Amazon website, as well as in Disneyland itself, Disney World, and Tokyo Disneyland. What was your favorite product? What was your favorite item that you saw on this video? Please leave a comment below so I can know that you're watching the whole way through. I also am just curious to find out what people relate to most, what kind of merchandise spoke to them. So thanks again for watching my video and hope you take care. Bye-bye.